Next step is going to be um, enabling multi-factor authentication for your users. Um, one simple way to do this uh, in the admin portal, if we go to users and active users, you'll see in the new admin center, there's this option for multi-factor authentication. When we select that, it's going to take us to a separate page where we can manually enable multi-factor authentication for individual users. So, uh, for example, I'm going to enable multi-factor authentication for both Alan, uh, Alan here and uh, Diego. So, so I'm going to select those users and click Enable. Notice that uh, we get this prompt. So if users do not regularly sign in via the web, then it's recommended that you provide them with this link to aka.ms slash MFA setup. And that will, uh, once the user goes to that page and logs in, uh, it will prompt them for the information that they need uh, on the user side to finish setting up multi-factor authentication. Um, they would also get those prompts if they regularly log in on the web. If they just went to portal.office.com, that login process is going to prompt them for the steps that they need to perform uh, to uh, enable multi-factor authentication. And we're going to take you through that procedure here in just a second so you can see that. So we're going to enable multi-factor auth. So we'll see in here now, it's enabled for my first three users in that org. So we just, we already had it enabled for Alex and we just enabled it for Alan and Diego. Uh, 